All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, bit of a rocky start just to, just, to, just to be nice about it. Bit of a rocky start. I'm enjoying the game. I think it's cool, but I don't think we're far enough into the game for anybody to really really give a true opinion on it. a lot of us are stuck in rookieville i am that's the that's the gameplay that y'all gonna see today man um it, it, i ain't gonna lie man rookieville let me know your experience in rookieville rookieville is so bad that it'll have you playing bad just trying to get out and doing stuff that you know your bla is supposed to do and you still gonna try to do it because you're like bro i got to get out of rookieville so let me know about your experience in rookieville also let me know if you caught the ps4 or playstation uh ps4 uh, PS5 discless or PS5 with the disc or Xbox One S or Xbox One X, man. Let me know what y'all got down in the, in the comment section. Also, like the video, man. We dropping the 2K heat every day of the week. Got some news for y'all today. We got good news, bad news. It's a new generation, man. Hey, we about to get into it all right here. So if y'all do nothing else, like the video, and I'll be back right after this. Lido! Make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me a savage. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head. Man, before we even get started, man, let me talk to y'all about Rookieville. Man, this is the most ingenious and just terrible thing that they put in the game. At least we know, number one, that 60 overalls are not getting out of Rookieville easily. It may literally take like 24 hours of actual game time for a 60 overall to get out of here. You either gonna have to be ranked up or something like that, man. Tell me about your Rookieville experience. Tell me if you got the Xbox One S or did you get the X? Did you did you get the uh, PlayStation disc or the discless? Tell me what you got. Tell me about your experience in Rookieville. Are these the worst people that you had? Because let me tell y'all something, man. Playing in Rookieville, I played last night. We will be streaming again as soon as we get the 300 uh, likes on this video. We're going to stream again on YouTube and Twitch. If not, if, if YouTube is tripping again, make sure y'all come to Twitch. But yo, link down in the description. But yo, Rookieville is the most miserable experience of my life. The first couple of games, I went over to the ones. I tried to run. I got I got dropped off because I ran up against a guard. Ran up against a guard the second time. Got I, mean, I got beat like 18 to 19. I mean, 21. And then, you know, after that, I kind of figured it out and I, I knew what I was doing. But bro, right off the bat, then I start playing with, with randoms. Oh my God, playing with randoms, bro? That's so bad because they have you doing stuff that you would never do. You would never do it. You would never go to the rim with three people down there. But this random done, done it three times and it worked for him. I'm a good player. It works for me. You just gotta realize two things, man. When you go to Rookieville, the ones is pretty much useless. You can't get a good teammate grade on the ones because you're gonna be getting scored on number two. That bot shit not gonna work for you. The bot shit that you see other people doing is gonna work for them. It's not gonna work for you. But anyway, man, speaking of stuff, check this out, man. You got your boy Duke Dennis, man. He was talking about something. I'm just gonna let him talk about what it is that he was talking about. Hey, bro, look, I just, I seen this on, on Twitter, bro. My, my homeboy, uh, Tony tweeted it. But I thought it was fake, so I what came on here, bro. Y'all see this what's new in NBA 2K21? thing right here bro you can you can you can go between the the slides bro why when you hold it up you can see 2k20 in the back bro is this recycle in some type of way like 2k20 shouldn't be nowhere near none of this bro what's going on bro what's going on bro and you know he really might want to know what's going on, man. But look, bro, look, this is what's really going on. I'm just gonna keep it real with you. Keep it real, packed steel 187. Like eight thoughts say, bro. Look, listen. When they make new games, it's not uncommon for them to take assets from one game and place that asset into another game. It's just not uncommon for that to happen. Now they may upgrade how the asset looks or something like that. It's just like making thumbnails and stuff, right? You know how everybody got the same basic background in their thumbnail, but when they when you know but the actual thumbnail itself is different it's the same type of thing man look at that thing green up man green bean money teams trays up splash down it's the same type of thing where you take an asset from one game and you just put it in the other because that little box right there it would take more time to program it and 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 do it then it would take anything then to just select that piece of code that controls that box put it into where you want to put it into the other place and then you just you just uh pull over the assets it's kind of it's common for me to do something like that in networking like i might i might program another switch or something and then um 
when I program that switch or when I program a router or when I program another computer, I got a little template that I use or I have an image that I use or something like that. And uh, when I when I do it, you might have a rule in this firewall that don't even apply over here that I just didn't see because it doesn't apply and it might mess something up or it may not mess anything up so I'll never catch it. So that's kind of how it works when you work with computers and programming and stuff like that. Nobody's gonna, let me just be honest with you. Nobody is going to look at a piece of, they're not gonna reprogram that piece of code right there. And they certainly aren't gonna re redevelop the assets that don't. And they couldn't even see that, so I'm cool with it, man. It is what it is. What that proves is that they, it's just an asset that just got left over or something like that. What it does prove is that they did port things in from other games of 2K, and with that being the case, they I, I full heartedly believe Fully believe that they could have let us bring some players over and reapply some attributes and stuff like that. But if they did that, what would be the fun of Rookieville? You wouldn't get in here and be upset and pissed off at all this stuff that's happening in Rookieville, would you? You wouldn't be see people going to the rim and blowing layups and stuff like that and doing the dumbest thing imaginable. So that they, they, they had to force you to experience Rookieville. Um, and I guess you could say they could still made us go Rookieville with, with full-on players, but then you just dominating it wouldn't be as fun. So I guess that's why what it is, man. But uh because it ain't about VC because you get to save your VC. You got enough VC. You should have enough VC to make players for free if you play it last gen. So it just is what it is. Up next, man, we got um we got uh some information on the 2K face scans or what have you, man. He's just going to talk. We're going to just go to boy talk real fast. Hey everyone. Happy launch day. This is Eric Benish, executive producer for NBA 2K21. I want to take some time today to talk about next gen face scans. I know you all saw that launch trailer we put out back in early October featuring the Warriors and the Mavericks. And I definitely know you saw the face scans of guys like Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, and so many others. Those are our next-gen face scans in action. When the NBA season shut down back in March, we lost our access to the NBA players. This means we couldn't finish scanning every NBA player. When the NBA season resumed in July, even we weren't allowed back into the bubble. So I wanted to take some time today to let you know that we're going to do everything we can, everything we can, to scan every NBA player and get them to you as quickly as possible. Since we made that video, we've scanned an additional 40 NBA players. Those players are almost ready to go and most will be delivered in your day one patches today. So thank you so much for all of your patience and all of your support over the years. This team is so dedicated and so passionate. We're gonna continue doing everything we can to making this game as good as it can be and making it better all year long. So thank you everyone. And again, happy launch day. And happy lunch day to you too, Eric, man. Appreciate y'all. Look, and like I said, bro, that's just one of those things that, like we said, if it weren't for moving assets from one game to the next, we would have no faces. They could not face scan everybody in the league and they don't always have access to everybody. So you see what he said? They had to use assets from a previous game to fill out assets in the current game, but they're gonna backfill those assets and fix everything as, as it goes. And so obviously that, that window right there, it probably ain't even there no more. It, it was lunch day type thing. Hey, it's gone or what have you. I'm glad that they do it. And I'm, I showed that for a reason because it's just to show that that what they did was a necessary evil or what have you, man. You have to you have to use assets from one game to the next. You're not gonna go mocap a whole bunch of new um what's uh, animations and stuff like that. So you just put those animations or those lines of code to represent those animations in this game, and then you can make them behave differently and stuff like that. So that's what that is. Up next, man. First look at the uh at at the at the mama mentality badge man you know you get the mama mentality badge it lets you know that you can change and take over anytime you want to man and uh i think that's pretty dope man you know i i want to see it um i'd love to get it but i just think it's a badge that you know when we get it it's gonna be a game changer it's something that i actually was talking about in the video and then they actually hit it it was like boom you got you know we got the mama mentality badge so that's dope right there um also we got the first look at Somebody that got unlimited boost. You can get unlimited boost from your daily spend. So get to the city as quickly as you possibly can. And and hit and you know what I'm saying? Do your daily spend because you can get unlimited boost. Who knew? Who knew that you would be able to get unlimited boost at this level from the daily spend, man? And then last but not least, man, something that y'all ain't gonna want to hear about. But um, it's back. I'm just gonna show y'all real quick, man. And uh, I'm gonna let y'all get up out of here. Unfortunately, it's back. We are truly in a new generation, chat. Check it out, boom, he got, the, he got it hooked up. He's showing you this is the Xbox controller. Boom, 
Look at this. He's shooting the free throw. Bam. And a lot of people will probably be like, you know, this might not be current gen. This might be current gen. This might be that. Look, if you play next gen, you know that this is a next gen asset right here. And then you know that this is the next, this is all this ray tracing and all this reflections and stuff. You know, all of this is next gen assets, man. All of this is next gen stuff. So it definitely is back and it sucks, man. They already got a control and it's already ready to go. And uh, you know, they're gonna give you the green light cause it's ready to go right now. Now somebody sent me that on, um, you know, they sent me that on my Instagram and all this stuff, man. I don't be wanting to put people out there. I'm not gonna tell y'all who sent it to me, but it's back, it's out there. So if you see people out there zen in the wind, it is what it is. Hey, get right or get left, or just play the good fight, the good fight. Decide what you gonna do. Let me know what y'all gonna do. You gonna get you one? Are you gonna fight the good fight? One more thing that I want to show y'all too, man, is like um, if you if you have 2K, right? I'm gonna see if this works for me. If you've got 2K and you um you got the next gen console or what have you, this is something that 100% works, bro. Um, you can play. Let's say you got your other player and you want to grind out. Um, you want to grind out VC and stuff. For your other player look you see that nba 2k 21 you still own this right it's telling you that better on the next gen you can do that but you still own this one too so you can just go in there to the microsoft store boom 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 um and then you own it so you can go ahead and install it and because you have a shared vc wallet this is for the people that i, I know a lot of people because a lot of people just said you know what when i get my new joint i'm gonna um you know what I'm saying? When I get my new joint, I'm not even going, I'm going to sell my old Xbox. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Blah, blah, blah. Yaggity, smackity. If you have the, the uh, space to do it, uh, you I, I recommend installing this 2K on your Xbox or your PlayStation because you should have access to it. I know for sure on the Xbox. I don't know for sure on the PlayStation. Download the game and grind your VC out on your old player and just use it because the wallets are shared. You can you can um you can just get your VC up on that old player and then it'll just transfer instantly to, to the next one. Same thing with my team, man. So you can use your farm system. So it's like you got your farm system as well as your regular system on the same thing, man. So I, I just wanted to just hit y'all with that real quick, man. Um hopefully that'll help somebody out because I don't know, I don't know if anybody has ever even thought about it or thought about doing it or, or you know any anything like that. But I just wanted to let y'all know. Yes, it is possible. So you can download next gen. You can download current gen on next gen. And uh, while you do, you know, when you do that, you can just use next gen to generate your VC for your current gen. And then you can make your other bills and stuff like that. Cause y'all already know, every time I go on current gen, I got about, uh, I got about, that's, that can go up to like a thousand. I got like a thousand down, thousand up, thousand down. But, um, like, like right now, let me see. Let me, let me let y'all know how fast my internet is. Right now, it is 341 Eastern time. Watch how fast this video will be up. It's 341 Eastern right now. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna let the video, I mean, I'm not even gonna put a thumbnail on the video. I'm just gonna release it. If you made it this far, put 341 down in the comment section and tell me what time you watched this video and you'll see how fast it got up there. But anyway, use the, uh, use next gen, use last gen to generate your VC for next gen. And I think you'll be good to go, man. But anyway, that's all I got for y'all, man. I got some tips and tricks for y'all coming up later in a video. And hopefully this helped y'all out. And I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Big shout out to my guy, Dub CP. We're going to permanently put his link down in the description. He is an OG. And uh, you know that, man. He just trying to blow up, man. You know what I'm talking about? That's all he's trying to do, just like all of us. I'm going to holler at y'all next time, man. Leave a like. 300 likes. We're going to start streaming. Until next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys, baby.